August 5th, Friday. Dad frying chicken. Ventura, California. I'm going to take a moment to talk about my hair. When I turned 60, I started losing my hair real bad. It was going quickly. I saw all the ads about hair replacement, all that bullshit. But I wanted to do something really different and make a statement. So I figured the only way to go would be to design my own wig. But I wanted to use the hair off of and out of the crack of my ass. I know it sounds strange, but I collected it and collected it, took vitamin E, collected it, it was like a harvest thing, till I got enough to do what you see here, which I feel is a masterpiece. Downside? When I fart now, this is what happens to my underwear, since I no longer, the fart no longer passes through a forest of ass hair that I used to have that would dampen the impact. Now it just shoots straight through. And tonight it's really a drag because I was going to go out dancing. Oh yeah, Dad, talk about your dancing. Talk about it. Let me just show you. Hi, it's sun. I don't know the day or the time. It's late. I gotta be quiet because wife's sleeping. I'm about to go into bed. I wanted to discuss hair turning into dust. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Dust turning into hair. Um, it's late. You'll have to excuse me. Um, hair when it falls on the floor I'm sorry yeah. tired um, dust when it falls on the floor turns into hair now I've discussed this with wife and uh, she disagrees but, um, I'll show you what I mean. You see, like right here, look. See that hair? Look at that. See? That's not the hair from my head. Or from wife's hair. Head. Um, that's dust. Hi, diary. It's wife. August 7th, 10.34 a.m. I'm on my way over to Paul Angelico's hair salon. He got tagged last night. Man, this guy is the best in town. All the gals go there. We get our manis, petties, waxes cuts and color jobs. He does it all. This guy is God's gift to hair. And 
he got graffitied and not with roses. There's this guy who's been going around town and he tags fuck caca on the walls. I just can't believe this happened to someone like Paul Angelico. I mean, I'm heartbroken over it. I'm bringing him a bunch of hard-boiled eggs so we can really get through this trying time. It's terrible. So, oh, by the way, I have figured out the best way to peel hard-boiled eggs. I mean, I've been working on this for a long time, you know, because you know how when you crack a hard-boiled egg, the white starts to come off and like pretty soon you have no white left and most people think like oh you just want to get right to the yellow part of the egg but that's not true actually it's all about going through the the white part to get to the yellow part it's like this unbelievable fluffy white and then you get to the yellow yolk it's it's unbelievable if you can get it right and last night I finally figured out the best way to do it. What you want to do is you, you want to crack it right in the center of your forehead. And when you do that, it makes a perfect crack down the middle. And then the shell comes right off and it leaves all of the white intact. And you get a perfect hard boiled egg peel. So this is what you do. You take it. Oh, oh my God. Oh shit. <laughs> I bought the wrong ones. <laughs> Hey diary, it's the weekend, and we're here at Dog's favorite park, and we're trying to teach Dog a trick so we can get on this new pet talent show called the Fast Freddy Show. And you just can't, you know, shake hands and roll over and do all that shit, that won't get it, because there's a $2,500 prize. And if you win one of the episodes and come back for the finale and win that, it's 25000 So. I spent the whole morning here trying to put these lines, look, I put all these lines all over this field. I mean, I busted my ass and I was going to have him do like a hopscotch thing where he would hop from one line of, when I directed him, skip a box, go to the next box, but he, he couldn't, couldn't get it, it's a little too much. But now, I was on my way to the thrift store to either donate these or Maybe they'll dump them, I don't know. This is my underwear I keep blowing holes in. But I figured if I can teach them a new trick, I'm gonna make a hoop and get them to jump through it. And uh, that'll get us on, and I think we can get the cash with something like that, because he's, he's an odd colored dachshund. Here we go, Ronnie, you ready? Let's learn. Let's learn. Rancello. Rancello. Duck. Dog. Dog. Come here, come here, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. Come here. Can you come through and get the banana? Come through it, Ryan. Come through it. Ryan, come. Come through it, dog. Come through it. Come, come, come. Pretty good. Come, come, come. Get the banana. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that. We're on a fucking winner here. Let's try it again. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have my dog, dog, jump through the hoop. Come through it, Ryan. Come through. Dog, come. Get the banana. Come on. Woo! Oh my God. We've got a winner here. We've got a winner, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a winner. Yeah! Oh my God, Ron. Let's get the fucking money and run. Hi, diary. Saturday. I just got done watching Gilligan, and I wanted to share something with you. Um, between episodes, I always like to take some time and imagine that I'm on my own island here on my bed. And it's a great thing because it shows us how much everything is in our mind. I mean, how many times <coughs> have you laid in your bed bumming out and shit, some other worthless crap, you know, and you could have been, made, made a switch in your mind and been like, wait a minute, I'm on this beautiful island. Look at this, like the, I imagine that the sheet 
is beautiful soft sand. And all these like feathers. See, there's all these feathers like that all over here because this blanket it sheds and when I'm not imagining that I'm on an island I feel like I'm in a fucking bird cage. <laughs> hey, why are you talking about that? I told you not to mention that anymore. I bought the only fucking blanket that they had. Okay, okay. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. When I am imagining that I'm on my island, these little feathers are like the bird's feathers that they're shedding as they fly over, as they're doing their thing, they're dropping these feathers all over the beautiful white sand. And the breeze that blows in my window, <coughs> this window, it didn't open for a really long time. <coughs> and when I started watching Gilligan, it, uh, it opened. I just leave it open now. <coughs> I don't know what was stopping it. I feel like something opened in me. And that the window somehow was like... Well, you know, like maybe it was open and, and, and all the breezes that blowed in, I didn't really take time to feel their beauty. And it, and it closed, on, and it just closed, and it didn't let any breeze in. And then as I started to have these thoughts from Gilligan, imagining my own island, it opened again. Because when that first breeze came in, you know, I, I saw it for the first time in a whole new way. I saw it like it was the creator. That wind is like the creator blowing on our skin, like cooling off our bodies. Creator blowing love all over us. You know, I just saw it in a whole new way, and I leave it open now. And it's like my island breeze that comes in. And I lay out on my sand, <coughs> on my island. <coughs> I roll around, and that breeze comes in. Blows all over my body. I just lay in here. Birds drop feathers on me. And the warm sun warms me. Stand all around me like a coat. I dream. Shh, diary. Shh. He's been up all night at the synthesizer. We'll let him sleep. See you next time. Hi Diary, it's August 13th, um, I just got my clothes out of the dryer and once again my panties are missing. I mean, this happens every time I do laundry. I don't know if it's a woman or some creepy male in the park, I have no idea, but I do know that if I could I would get a search warrant and search every trailer in the park to see who's been doing this. I mean, it's like I can either stop wearing panties or sit in here while I do my laundry and nobody wants to do that, so I don't know. But anyways, um, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I changed my hair when I went over to Paul Angelico's to give him the hard-boiled eggs, um, which were a huge success, by the way. He said it was the best hard-boiled egg he's ever had in his life. But I can do better, and I will do better. But anyway, I got, I went brunette, got a little cut, straightened thing, and I've been getting a lot of compliments on it, actually, so I might keep it for a minute, I don't know. But um, I've been getting compliments at the post office, because I go there every day. I don't know if I told you this yet, um, but for, for the last year or so, I've been uh, mailing packages to myself every day. So I'm always at the post office. I just mail, like, you know, I'll 
write out little things or send myself a little something and every day I do this and I don't open them I just keep them and I figure it would be really fun when I'm older like you know 60 years old I can go through these little packages and notes and um, you know find these little surprises because by then I'll forget what I've sent myself and it's like getting little gifts from yourself so it's really cool I'm really excited about it actually so um, been doing that and uh, what else oh there's this other little thing that I've been saying lately you, know, you ever heard that saying I like it like that well yeah it's just something I've been trying to incorporate you know throw in whenever I can like yesterday this guy said you've got bird shit on your car and I said I like it like that you know I don't know it's something I've been doing lately hi diary dad I'm out here looking for dog I let him out last night to take a shit and he never came back. I don't know where he went or if someone took him or what's up. But it's a real problem. Maybe this guy's here. Excuse me, sir. Hey, we're looking for our dog. I don't want to be filmed though. Our, but our dog, our oh, dog. Really, I don't want to be fucking filmed, man. No, this is just our family diary. It's like a little video diary we, diary we keep. Really? Really? I keep one of those too. Oh, cool. Have you seen a, a little dog run by? Oh, is it a pit bull? No, no, it was a real little dog, a dachshund, like a wiener dog. No, I haven't seen one of them. Ah, oh, shit. All right, well, thanks, man. Thank you. I guess we'll try down here. Hey, I'm Fritz. I just went from sidewalk promotion to pizza delivery guy. Um, delivering my first pizza to number 49, if I can find it up here. Uh, I hope she's okay with the uh, camera. And we'll just see how this goes. If you don't mind the camera, you know, the, uh, the Spillman's documentary on pizza men. Oh, yeah, cool. That's actually awesome because I, uh, this amazing thing happened and I wanted to share it with somebody. Um, hold on. So, you know, the other day I was at the beach and, um, I took a walk on the beach and then I was walking home. And, uh, on my way home, you know, I saw this racing form on the ground. Because, you know, the, um, the racing track is right across from the beach. Anyway, I saw this racing form on the ground. And uh, there was a snail on it. And for whatever reason, I was just, like, transfixed by this snail. And I stood there watching for it, at, it for, like, probably a half hour or something. And finally the snail stopped. Stopped crawling. And um, I was looking at it for a minute. And I guess I figured that it had died. So I, I picked it up, and sure enough, it had died. And where it had died was this uh, horse's name, uh, Lightning Speed. So I decided to, you know, on a long shot, go in and, and put all the money I had, which was a dollar, on this, on this long shot called Lightning Speed. And uh, I did it, and I won. Lightning Speed won. So that's how I got the money to, to, p to pay for this pizza. So it's like... It's a really cool thing, you know? Hi, Diary. Big moment happening right now. I finally figured out the perfect thing for my hard-boiled eggs. I have my masterpiece batch going right now. 
Okay, the key element is I've turned the temperature down in the refrigerator, but hello? Can I come in? I feel terrible. Oh, here are your panties. You're the one who's been stealing my panties? Yes, I, I'm the one. He's been doing it. I, what's he doing? What's going on here? Oh, it's okay. We're just filming a little home video thing. It's just, it's for us. It's okay, right? Okay. Nobody else is going to see no, it? No, just... no. Okay. Well, I stopped buying toilet paper because it's too damn expensive. So, I went to different stores around the area where they have bathrooms, public bathrooms, and I started taking the toilet paper and bringing it home. And after a while, they got wise to me, see? And I couldn't go back there anymore. I thought, what the fuck am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I figured maybe I can use panties to wipe myself because they're soft. So where am I going to get panties? Then I, I remembered you living over here and I watched you. I watched you coming and going and when you weren't home, I came over here and took your panties. And uh, I use that to wipe myself. It's so soft, you know? This is a masterpiece. Remember that yeah. when you eat it. Yeah. Oh, this man. is this is a big deal, you I know? I know, honey, I know. I'm so happy for yeah. you. So, so I yes, never could have done it without you, you know? Oh, honey. No, this is this is big time. Yeah. Oh, I gotta love you. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> Look, it's starting to boil. All right. You should wash up too, so you can, you know, dig right in. I'm gonna do it right now because I also gotta use the bathroom. Okay. Be right back. You take the camera out? No. Uh. Either did I. What are you talking about? You must have. You've been filming. You know, you must have brought it, set it out, thinking you were going to do a scene or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember taking it out. I didn't take the... Well, Jesus. Well, I didn't take it out. You must have taken it out. Maybe you just started to do it, then you started something else, and you forgot about it. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, I guess. No other logical explanation for it. It definitely wasn't me. Calcetín. ¡Hijo! Calcetín tiene hambre. Look at the bees doing their thing. They're in this big 
ivy that runs all the way down the park, you see? Runs this wall. I come out here every day and I like to watch them be a part of their beautiful cosmic energy. Because they are a tremendous energy. I used to be afraid of them. Lots of people are because they think they're going to get stung, but it's the farthest thing from anything they want to do, believe me. They're just doing their thing for the cosmos. It's really how we should be doing our thing every day. With such drive and beauty. Recently, a few of them have landed on my arm in my chair behind the trailer. And I've just watched them. And they've landed there and walked around and then they went like right close by and passed away. I just got this feeling like this wave rushed over me. Just kind of a feeling of being honored. They would come and do that. Land on me and before moving on. Oh shit, one got caught in a web, he got caught in a web, but he's alright. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I, I like to come out here every day and watch them be a part of their energy. Because they are just total cosmic gorgeousness. So, sending my love out to the bees today. Thanks, guys. Man, our concepts of time are so ridiculous. We keep time in these little boxes and... God. But here I am fixing this thing because it's 30 minutes fast. Hey! <laughs> hey, is that Webster's gotta be? Hey, how you doing? Man, you're always coming to my window to greet me. Yeah, to clean these webs off, too. <laughs> right. How you doing, man? Uh, so-so. Pretty good. Good, good. I'm doing my uh, video diary. Great, great. Hey, can I, can I come out and talk to you, interview you for it? Sure. Oh, cool, man. I'll be right up. All right. Hey, so this is Webster. He lives in the park, and he goes around and he cleans all the spider webs off the trailers. So Webster, tell me, how did all this start? Oh well, one day I was coming out and I walked right into a gigantic spider web and this huge spider comes crawling down, he latches onto my nose and he started eating up my nose and I had to have a, a couple of operations to fix my nose. God, man. You were coming out your trailer, right? Right. Because I noticed by right, right by the door they make their webs big time. And it one caught you right in the face. Absolutely. Jeez, man. How many operations did you have? So far, three. And I'm pending a fourth one. Wow. Man. That's, that's horrible, man. I'm sorry. Uh, it'll get better. But you're doing this so that it doesn't happen to anybody else. Absolutely. Wow, that's great, man. That's awesome. Do, do people give you tips? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes some people feel generous enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool, man. Well, uh, thanks for sharing your story. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Hey, Diary. This is a super special day. We're on our family vacation. Hey. <laughs> we come here once a year, every single year, to the same motel, and we do our family vacation. It's the best. We sit around and relax, and I mean, we're in nature. You feel so much better when you're around nature like this. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's the one time a year where we really get to be a part of nature. So here we are. Um, we're going to do some swimming and relax and have a really good time here. So where is, where's Dad? He's gonna, I thought we were all gonna go swimming. Well, he's supposed to be out here a half an hour ago. I better go check on him. Okay. I'll be right back. All right. Dad?
Dad, are you on the toilet? Hey, don't make service for that. Are you on the toilet? I can't fucking hear you. Are you on the toilet? Come in. What the fuck are you doing, man? We're waiting for you out there. I'm not going out by the fucking pool. Why not? I, I can't get chlorinated water on my hair. What do you mean? It's really bad. For, it's not like regular hair because... God damn, I didn't know going to... This hair, you know, I got from my asshole and the crack of my ass. It's not used to being exposed to sunlight, chlorine, steam from hot water, none of that. So I'm just going to take a bath and relax right here. That's all right with everybody. But you don't have to go under the water. Some kid will fucking splash me. Believe me, I'm not going out there. I'm not going out there. The steam out there from that hot tub is terrible. Boy, it's real bad for us. You don't have to wear it at all, though. Wear what at all? Your wig. It's not a fucking wig, all right? It's human hair. My own human hair. Do you know anyone that bought a fucking wig that had their own human hair? No. That's why it's not a wig. This is my masterpiece. It doesn't, you just don't take it off and fucking to do crazy activity. Well, can you at least sit in the hot tub later? No, the steam is bad. Well, you're steaming it up right now. I control the temperature. It has this very cool water. Oh, my fucking water. It's very cool water. I'm not going out there. It's absolutely not. But every year we have our jacuzzi at night. I'm not going to take a jacuzzi. Tonight I'm just going to sit there, have my virgin martini, just water with ice. This is my 10th anniversary of sobriety. Oh yeah, you haven't ever talked about that. I understand. With desire with you, I'd like to just uh, talk to the diary about it tonight. Just it falls on this exact day that we're here. This is the, the anniversary of the 10th year without booze. Okay, well, we'll talk about it tonight, I guess. Okay. So you're not coming out? I'm not. You, you go enjoy it with me. All right. Hey, what's going on out here? Is, is Dad coming out? Da I'll, I'll talk to everybody later. Let me finish my bath, please. Dad doesn't want to go out there. Why? I don't know. He doesn't want to get his wig wet. Oh, okay. I thought we were all going to go swimming. I don't know. He doesn't want to do it. He said it's going to get ruined by the chlorine and stuff. And I don't know. All right. Well, how about I'll go get the tuna melts then? Oh, yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah, this is like the... We never told Dyer. You see, we're, we're all on, our, on a raw diet. And this is the one time... On our vacation, a year that we go off our ride diet and we get tuna melts here. They got the best tuna melts at the restaurant. Wow. Yeah. What's that? Are you going to get your tuna melts? I, I want only ahi on my tuna or I can't use it. Okay. Ahi, all ahi on mine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Dad wants all ahi on his. Okay. And I don't want any bread. Okay. And I guess we're going to eat them right here. Well, I thought we were going to eat out by the pool. No, Dad, I don't know. Dad's in a weird mood. He doesn't, I don't know what's going on. So we're just going to eat them in the room? I guess so. I All mean, right. we could take ours out there, but I don't want to. I mean, well, I don't know. That's okay. All right, Let's I'll go, go put get the em. order in. Okay, and... I'll go do it. I'll go get the tuna milk. Okay. okay. Wife's going to get the tuna milk. I'm not going to get She's going to put ahi on. She's going to put ahi on yours. She's going to put the one. She's going to put ahi on mine? You're going to tell him to do that. Only wild ahi. What's the difference? It's a big fucking difference. One is actually a fish and the other is some kind of fucking tumor that they feed. Okay. Yeah, you want... Wait, I don't understand. You want wild, wild ahi? Wild ahi. Okay, no. let me go see if I can catch her. Oh shit, you didn't leave yet. Oh, I'm just on my way up. Oh, he wants wild ahi. Okay. It's different than regular tuna. Wild ahi, he okay. said. Okay. Okay. All right. Go okay. Ahead. Hey, Dad. Yeah. I caught her. She didn't go out there. Wild ahi, I told her. Fantastic. Okay. Wow, what a vacation. Fantastic. Oh, 
So we're, is it okay if we, uh, if we eat by the pool? Of course. Uh, listen, I want you and wife to have kind of like a second honeymoon. I thought that tonight I would take a little walk out by the pool later and, and let you and wife have privacy in the room for a while. Oh. I'll go over to Starbucks. Is that okay? It's fun. It's fun. beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Dad. All right. Cool. And, uh... Yeah, that's all. You stay in your Where did where did you go on uh your honeymoon, Dad? I went to a little place called Duck Key. Duck Key, where's that? It's down in Florida in the Florida Keys. Yeah, do they have a lot of ducks? Actually they don't have a lot of ducks, but they have so much seagull shit that the entire island is white. Yeah. And they didn't want to call it Seagull Key. So some fucker named it Duck Key. Huh. And it's all white, so like if they mark off the parking spots and shit, they deal with black paint. Because all the ground is white from seagull shit. Oh. But it's hardened, like plaster of Paris. Right. And you get a great rate in the summer because, you know, get a little ordure. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. But it's a That's great it. rate for 48 bucks. You can't fucking beat it. Right. We're paying 65 for this fucking flopper. Yeah. It's nice, though. It's all right. They remodeled it this year. They did. They did. I uh, I noticed that the bathroom has been redone. It used to come with uh, pubic hairs from the prior. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Get this going. What, the, what happened with the, what happened no with the sandwiches? Food. What do you mean? The restaurant's not there anymore. Oh, You're kidding. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry, Dad. No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm done. What happened? They're not there no more, Dad. The restaurant's not there anymore. What happened? It just boarded up. I don't know. We're on the uh, phone book, man. Or we can just let this get dressed and we'll just walk around and follow our nose to a good smelling place. You don't mind going out? No, I don't mind going out. Then afterwards, when... I'm going to hang out a little tonight and have some late night coffee. Yeah. And you guys can just come back here and relax, and I'll probably have a late night myself. Okay, right. Thanks, Dad. Thanks. Right. Cool. Does that sound like a plan? Great. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, let me get out of this. Thing. Okay, cool. Wow, I wonder, maybe they put, had roaches or something. Well, it looked like, you know, those circus tents that you see? Yeah. I think that's what was going oh, they. On. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Dad, they had the circus tents. Who did? Where you always say the circus is coming to town when you see those big tents? Yeah. On the re the they had it on the restaurant. Woo! You know how yeah. many times we've eaten yeah, there, rats. too? What's that? Yeah. They must have had fucking rats. Yeah, there were roaches. Yeah. And rats. We've eaten there every year. I know. Wow. Maybe we should stay on our raw diet this time. Oh, don't sit on that. Oh, shit. Don't sit on that. Oh, right. I thought, well, Dad, doesn't Dad usually yeah, Dad, take the covers you, down? Dad, you usually take the covers down. I told wife not to sit on those covers. No, they're loaded with load. D yeah. Yeah, but, that's the first thing you normally pe do. Peel those back. Peel those back. Me? I don't want to touch it. Alone. Hey, Dad? Leave mine alone. When you get out, wife doesn't, can you do it when you get out? Yes. We don't want to touch these things. Man. You know how to do it better. You gotta put these things on your head. I, I got it. Yeah, Dad, Dad does that thing where he's got something special for his hands. It's a good one. Your shirt was on it, but I shook it out. Thank God. Do you have to do every layer or just the first one? No. Usually the, they flop right on the first one if it's just like a you know, hot sheets place, the courthouse, granted by the hour type thing. Right. They don't even pull it down. So that's why you want to get rid of that first layer. And when you get down to this layer, you might make it with just a few pubes if you're lucky. And then once you get under here, usually if the maids have done their work, it's pretty good. Yeah. They change the sheet unless somebody has really skid marked it, you know? And yeah. this works pretty good. So you can leave that one on? Yeah, I would sleep in that one. Okay. Well, we better figure out where we're going for dinner. What's the plan? Grilled cheese. <laughs> nah. Well. Closest uh, thing to our raw vegetarian diet. And yeah. price is right. Yeah, that ain't so bad, I guess. What do you think? Grilled uh, cheese? Yeah, I don't know. What up? Anyone got any idea? Wait, Dad, does anybody ever... Do they get busy on the chairs, too? 
you have to do anything to the chairs, like dust them off? Uh, you just got to take it, huh? Because you could get it somewhat, it goes, it goes a little that's something on the chair. That's why they underwear to keep that between your ass and that chair. Right, so you can't do nothing about I'm the sure chair. I'm sure they got busy everywhere in here. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, but that's a hotel. Let's not think about that on our vacation night. Yeah. Well, I guess, uh, well, well he well, wants grilled cheese. I, I don't really care. Grilled cheese is fine. You could Wally at the new Indian place down there. Oh, Indian's good. Oh, Indian sounds good. You get the vegetable tali. Yeah, just don't eat the bread. Of course, they right. eat ghee in all the cooking. You know what ghee What's is? What's that? No. That's butter that they've removed the fat from so it won't burn. They call it clarified butter, but the Indian calls it ghee. Ghee. They don't use cooking oil. Ah. Everything is made with butter, so it is from a cow. I see. Mm. Oh, I that's see. okay. You all right? Oh, I don't, I don't mind butter. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. I want to go to Indian. Okay. Cool. All right, let's so, go. Here's to you, vacationers. See these happy faces? Each one represents a year of sobriety. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was a rough year. Seven, eight, nine. Say it with me, everyone. Ten. Ten. Maybe. Ten, ten years of sobriety. <laughs> ten years. <laughs> I have a virgin. Congratulations, Dad. Thank you. I have a virgin martini here. Just water and ice. Right. You know, I never told the story of how I started my sobriety because I didn't want to rock your world, man. It was a bad memory for you, I'm sure. Oh, no, no. You got to tell it. You got to tell it. It's uh, no big deal. Well, I remember that. You kept bugging me, Dad, I want to get this light stick from China. It's some kind of toy that, or some crazy shit at the mall. Would you take me down there to get it? And I had a couple of eye openers already that day. But I said, sure, let's do it. So we went down to the mall, and you started looking for the toy. And I said, I'm going to the bathroom for a minute. But of course, I was going in there to nip the old flask. And I nipped and nipped and nipped. And I took a piss and washed my hands, and there were no friggin' towels. Mm -hmm. The machine was there, but no towels. And I was enraged. I went nuts. I'm sure the booze had a lot to do with it. I tore the fucking machine off the wall. Right. And just as it's hitting the floor, in walks the fucking door shaker security guard goon. Well, Took me into the security office, called the cops, and away I went to jail that night. And I spent 24 hours in the drunk tank with bums. There was a bum, there was a, just a, a stainless steel toilet, no seat in the cell. And he's in there. He took a horrible shit. There's no water in it. I told him, hey, put some fucking water on that thing, man. He just got up and left the fucking plop right there. And that's how I spent the night. And I said, you know what? Drinking ain't worth this. And the next day, I went and... You've never seen this. Oh, <laughs> special to show you. And I want to present it in a little song and dance that I put together. Oh. For the occasion. The ten year <laughs> rock me out. What is it? What? what is it? Oh, my God. This was the toy that we were going to get ten years ago. Wow! Well, my flask got in the fucking way. You went back and got it. I got it the next day when I got out of this shit house. Wow! I didn't have the guts to show it to you because I was so embarrassed about getting the drunk driving thing. So check it out. You ready? I'm gonna get my life going out. <laughs> okay. And here's the other side of that shit. Wow! <laughs> right, you're done. You ready? You want this light off? Uh, yeah, that's okay. good. Here you go. You ready? Okay. Vacation, vacation, best in the nation. Vacation, best in the nation. I got it. Vacation, best in the nation. Vacation, you got it. I got it. Vacation, best in the nation. 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 Vacation, best in the nation.
Good night. We're gonna. We're all in bed and tucked in. We've had dinner and we enjoyed a first night of our vacation and we're just relaxing now. We had Indian food. Oh, mm. I am wrecked from that though. I'm telling you, getting off the raw food and eating that stuff. Oh, I'm just. I'm gonna pass out right now. So we just wanted to say good night and uh, tell you how much we've been enjoying our vacation. <laughs> Oh, okay. well, Dad. If not, I'm vegetarian. It's not going to be happening all night, right? No, it's vegetarian. There's no smell. All right. Tell Diary good night. Good night, Diary. I've had your wonderful cauliflower, cauliflower a la gula. I'm farting <laughs> the shit out of it. Your what? I'm farting it like a fucking mule. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Cauliflower is your fucking sauce. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna put diary up. Diary. Good night. See you tomorrow. I'm gonna put it in its case. Ugh. God, man, I feel like shit from that bread. I shouldn't eat that bread. I told you not to eat the bread. Bienvenidos. Where's the lens cap? Where's the lens cap? Well, check the case. Wait a minute. What the what? fuck is? What the fuck is that? What's is that, that sound? Something in the wall. Shut. Oh my god. It's coming o from over there. there. What is it? Sometimes rats can go in the wall. And oh get my god, the room. Jesus Christ. Doesn't mean you can get in. Here, you guys go over there, I'll look. Oh man, there could, this place could be infested with fucking rats. No, you guys go over there and I'll look. Get Wife, get in Wife, the corner. Oh, it's okay, God. it's okay. Dad's gonna take I care of it. I can't stand this shit. No, please. Dad's uh, gonna take care of it. Oh my God, this bed's a real fucking backbreaker, too. Oh my God. Wait. What's that? Oh, wait a minute. I just heard what? it. There he is. Where? There he is. It's not, it's not a rat, though. Holy shit, what is it? It's like a guinea pig or something. Oh, it's a hamster. What? It's a hamster. Oh my it? god. What the fuck is a hamster doing in here? I don't know. That's what it is. Isn't it? Oh shit, he's moving. Yeah, oh. but he's not running away. He's coming at us. There he is. Oh, get in the corner. Oh, Go. God. Get back. It's get okay. On the chair. It's okay. Get on the chair, man. Oh, no. Help me catch him. It's okay. What Let do you get, what do you need, Dad? Get a cup. Get a cup. Okay. Like you know, this one is not running away from us though. He's, he's trying to get to us. Really? Put him in the cup. Okay, let me get the cup on him. Give him here, give him here, give him here. Oh shit, I don't know. Come here. Uh, I'm gonna get him out. Don't let him get out. Watch out. He's not gonna go. Watch out. No, I got Let's him. See. Oh. Wow. Hey, look. Wow. Oh, he's nice. Wow. He's nice. He's somebody's pet. Wow, let me see him. Let me he's see nice. He's somebody's pet. Really? Yeah, look, he's nice. Oh. Wow. Oh, he's awesome, man. Uh-uh. I'm gonna keep them. Really? Yeah, let's adopt them. You smell like he's been in french fry grease or something from the restaurant. Oh. Oh shit, maybe he came from the restaurant. Uh, I thought they put the tent up. Oh, but he, he, he ran out of the tent. Maybe someone had a pet in there or something. That's what happened, he ran out of the tent. Oh! From the oh. restaurant. We no, that's not stuff. a pet, Ed. We those are the, those were the, what was infesting the restaurant. Nah. They got hamsters in there? Just some cook had a hamster in a dishwasher. First pet? Something happened. This one is not a rat. I'm going to wash him. Leave him alone. 
What are you going to do? We're going to clean them up and we're going to adopt them. Okay. She's a new member of the family. Are you going to help Dad? Uh-uh. <laughs> You're not touching them. Uh -uh. I'll watch. Are you going to name them, Dad? I am going to name them. I'm going to name them. I'm going to think of a perfect name. Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a guinea pig, though. Yes, no, but he's fast as hell, like a fine Italian sports car. Mm -hmm. Are you going to get him a wheel? Oh, yeah, he loves it. That's their main thing. They run in a wheel all day long. That's how they stay in shape. Look at he likes it. He, this one's a pet. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Look how clean I got. No, they get a nose clean. Oh, wow. It's a rat though, right? <laughs> no, no, no. It's a hamster. It's a hamster, definitely. Not a rat. Very well. We'll get him in the wheel and he just stays in there. Where are you going to keep him tonight? We'll keep him in these cups. Where? You I don't want him running around and I'll getting him in a, bed. I'll set up a house for him right here. Oh. Hey, you better build him something. Oh, that's good. Yeah, this could be Build a him a little house, Dad. This can catch his pellets. Oh, nice wow. Give him water. Is he going to leave that thing, though, in the middle of the night? No, he's going to stay here with the water. Look, look at it. I can pin his vibe. He's, he knows we're here to help him. And we're going to take care of him. And he's found a new home. Wow. You can stay right there, and in the morning we'll take him home to our place. Yeah, this one doesn't seem like just a wild one. It seems like he's been trained or something Definitely by somebody. Definitely been trained. Believe me, he'll eat scraps and everything. Wow. Oh, he's nice. He's awesome. Hey, even you're petting him. Yeah, he's nice. <laughs> I like him. It's a Lamborghini. Lamborghini. Really? Wow. Awesome, isn't it, that he came to our room? Wow, unbelievable. On your 10th anniversary? Yeah. Wow. wow. It's a real omen. Yeah. Wow. It's a real omen. Well, phenomenal. Good night, Lamborghini. He's going to stay right there. I know he will. All right. Turn the lights off. Okay. He ain't moving. He's going to stay right there. I got to wait oh, with animals, I'm telling you. Do you, do you need a light oh, shit, I need to put this camera yeah, up. I'll leave that light on. Oh. Is he moving? He's going to stay right there, Lamborghini. You okay? He likes it in a towel. He's warm. I guess so. I'm telling you, they like a small space. Oh, wait, we're going to get there. We're going to get a nice little water when you get there. <laughs> oh, you want to meet Adam, right? Hi, Diary. Son. Everyone thinks I've gone crazy because I saw a werewolf. I saw it. So I'm out here tonight tried to spot it again because this is the same time I saw it last night by the dumpsters so I'm gonna turn the lantern off now and we'll take a look Stop. Stop right there. No, get back here. Get back here, man. Stop. Stop, man. Stop right now. You're human. I can explain. I can explain. Look, Halloween's coming, and I just wanted to try out my new outfit. Why are you trying it out in the park? 
It's a coincidence, man. But, but I saw you here last week. I can't see out this thing. Oh, you can't see out your mask? Oh, that's dangerous, man. You gotta get a new suit. I know, man. You should go with something better that doesn't need a mask, like a like a cowboy or something. Hey, you know, as a matter of fact, I got a cowboy hat I don't wear no more. Do you want it? Is it expensive? Oh yeah, well my wife got it for me at the wharf. It's really nice. All you'll need is just some chaps or something, and you'll have a good safe outfit. That sound good? Sounds good to me, man. Cool, follow me. Oh yeah, perfect. Hey, so this is the shed I used to live in. It's my dad's shed, but he's letting me use half of it now for my art studio because it's set up like a little gallery. I'm going to be having an exhibition pretty soon and I wanted to show you guys all my paintings set up and uh, let's go in. It's called, as you're going to see on the door in a minute, Pigeon Trance, I've named the place. <laughs> there it is. Webster. Hey, 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 what up, buddy? How you doing? All right. Uh, what are you doing in here, man? Oh, uh, just uh, my nose off. What the hell is this thing? Uh, oh, it's for my my spider bite that I had on my nose because it chewed up half of my nose. So I have to wear this when I sleep so it doesn't, uh, so I don't injure it. I see. Yeah. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing good. What? Do you, yeah, I'm doing good. What do you What are you doing in here? Uh, well, your dad hired me as hired me on as a as a butler for him. Oh. Yeah. So I'm gonna be working full time for him. You know, he's trying to help me out. You know, because I'm kind of dying out right now. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh shit, he hasn't told me about this yet. Okay. Yeah. Well, he'll tell you. <laughs> he might know if you're pulling up. What is this uh this coat you got? This is nice. Uh, Stand your, up. Your, Let me see your, this. Your dad gave it to me to wear it for my duties. So when I start work, these are my duties. I see. Yeah, I see. I think, yeah, this all oh, this is the coat he got married in. Yeah. yeah he absolutely. got married in this coat. Yeah. That's cool. It looks good on you, man. Yeah. Well, yes, it does. I think it does. <laughs> well, shit, Webster, uh, welcome, I guess, welcome aboard. So, what, why, but, what's going, why are you out, why are you out here? What's... Oh, well, me and... Well, you remember my my accident with the spider where it chewed up half my nose, and I had to have the three operations to uh, repair it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I have to wear this to protect it, and then uh, no, I mean my, why? My, my, my wife had a tarantula as a pet, and uh, she refused to get rid of it after our first year of marriage, so we ended up in divorce. I see. Well, why why are you sleeping on the f out here? I have nowhere else to go. So, Dad, I had you over because what's going on with this butler thing? You got a butler now? I've already let him go, believe me. It, it didn't work out, man. It wasn't a good fit. I don't know why I even had the thought of having a butler. What the fuck are you going to do in my trailer? I just felt like my whole life that the, the important and rich people had butlers. And just one time, I like to experience that. So I had a little extra money with my Social Security check. I figured I'd try it out. And I was in the store buying the bell. I said to myself, wait a goddamn minute here, man. Have you lost your mind? What's he going to do? I just stopped myself. It's no good. Why should I support people to do these? I mean, he opened my sardines this morning. I can do that. After that... 
he sat around. So I got to pay him for the whole week. But I learned my lesson and got this out of my system. Doesn't mean shit if you have a butler or if you don't have a butler. How far could he have gone? He can't. He was right here. When I, when I went to bed, he was right here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I bet he's right in there. Where? He's right in that hole in the paper towel. Ready? Wait, wait a mouse. He's like a mouse. Um, I don't know. He can't fit in that hole. Damn it. Where the fuck could he be? Check the bathroom again. Anything? Oh my god, I just thought of something. What's that? My door. Yeah? When it's hot, I just leave it completely open at night like this. Yeah? That fucker's out on the street, man. I gotta go look for him. Man, you better check the park first before you go out I'm there. I gotta check everywhere. He's running around somewhere. Oh! 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 Are we done? Well, we just we still have to get the table set up for the hard-boiled eggs. Oh, right, right, okay. I think okay. we could set it up like right here on this area, but what is all this shit on the floor? Let's get rid of this. Wait, wait, Dad told me I could use half the shed. He told me not to touch anything on this side, so I don't know. I know, but this is just trash. It's garbage. Junk. Yeah, he told me not to touch anything. Let me go ask him. Yo, Dad! Dad! Hey! Hey! Hey, what's all this shit on the floor out here? Huh? We're, we're working on, we're setting up the art exhibition out in the shed, and Chach wants to know what all that shit on the floor is. Where? All that trash. You want, can we just get rid of that? There's trash on the out floor. There? Yeah. Fuck no, that's not trash. Wait a minute. Hold on, he's coming out. Nothing. Ah. I'm sorry. Right. That's important because talking about this stuff. Yeah, what is that? Right. I took 
through my ads where I find my different coupons and stuff. Oh, I got you. You know, my potatoes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but look, there's a bag right here. We can just put all the all the junk mail in that bag, and then you can have it. We can have it all in one it spot. It doesn't work for me. I'm sorry. I'm, I I gotta find my coupons for the sardines. I can't. It looks like a mess to everybody, but I know right where everything is. Canned fish is over on the left. Stuff in the middle. If it's all in the bag, I won't be able to find them. But, you need this space? Or can yeah, because we need, we're need. we looking to set up a table for my hard-boiled eggs. We got the show coming up. Yeah, for the what exhibition. What about this table? Can oh, you put it there? That would be kind of shitty because it's... It's okay. Yeah. All right. Now that'll fine. work okay. Fine. Yeah, yeah, of course. That'll work. Yeah. It's okay. Don't worry about no, it. No, that's fine. fine. It's just the work that really saves me money. Okay. All right. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's okay. Sure? Yeah. I didn't mean to wake you up. All right. Man, it to be a drag. No, it's all right. It's all right. I didn't realize we got a fucking table right there. That's fine. That's great. All right. All right. Sorry, Dad. thing out the other night. What do you mean? It's my opinion that this thing is possessed by something that's inside of this camera. Oh, you don't think it's a, like, I thought, and I think wife thinks that it's a ghost or a spirit of Sun Mangas working it. No. You think it's inside the machine? I do, because the other night, it just came on by itself and started filming me. Oh, I was watching TV. Just staring at it, really. Actually, thinking about the love of my life, Sheila. Think about her every night about this time. We met at a little sushi bar in a plaza where I grew up. It was called... Good night, sushi. Good night. Like a '50s theme place. It had jukebox with '50 songs. Everybody got a kick out of saying good night, sushi. Good night. Knowing they were gonna go back there the next day, and be happy and eat some more. We had a wonderful time. Man. We both used to like the octopus. And things move so fast that that summer it was just raining so much and raining so much and every time she'd come into the sushi bar she just made the rain like gold. That's why I call her of the golden rain. She just made the rain not so depressing. So. We we're moving along so fast, we, she got pregnant, and we had son, and then we decided, let's catch our own octopus this summer. So I knew this old boat captain, Jack, or total sea guy, tattoo on his arm, anchor, all that shit, and he took us out on our boat. To catch octopus, and we actually had one on the boat, right at the lip of the boat, and it fell off. And just before it did, it squirted Sheila's dress. I got it right up here. I don't know why. I, I, I yeah, here it is. Yeah. I saved it because I felt like maybe something was wrong in our relationship, but. That she might leave and she did she never she just here's the address 
We squared it right there. I kept it anyway, so. And one day I just found Sun on the doorstep and she was gone. I don't know why. I'm sure she had her reasons. Positive, she must have had her reasons. But anyway, I found a bunch of stuff around the house. I made a doll. I got it up here. I've been sleeping with it. I never remarried or anything like that. I don't even go on a date. But I I made this doll and I sleep in it every day. This is crazy. It's just things I had around the house. was jade around her neck the guy Captain Jack made on the boat. <sighs> Good night, Sushi. Good night. So this is where I like to come towards the end of the day and do a little meditation, kind of relax from all the stress of the day. Um, is that why you came here? Do you want to meditate too? Cool. Okay. Well, I mean, there's a million different ways to do it. The way I do it is I just close my eyes and I try and stop all of the thoughts just relax and try and stop all of the thoughts and you can um, focus on the center of your forehead and just go inside and you know block everything on the outside out and you just travel inward and inward and it's just a really peaceful experience so um, I'll roll down the windows and let some of this nice beach ambiance in Right. Okay, so ready? We'll close our eyes and I hope you like the results. This is my prayer for only My only prayer is this mind May love be all you find This is my 
prayer is this mind May love be all you find Though we may see through sometimes My only wish that you be Okay, you can open your eyes now. So how did you like that? Was that good? Fantastic. Well, you can come here with me anytime you want. Come here every day. So, okay. I guess that's it for now. Let's roll. Hey, diary. It's my art opening. I've only been painting for a few months, so I don't have many pieces, but I figured it was enough to have a show. Um, Dad, he, he won't come out of his trailer tonight. He's really bummed out about dog and now hamster. He couldn't find hamster, so both dog and hamster are lost, and he's, uh, he just ordered a pizza and he wants to be alone by himself tonight, so it's a little bit of a bummer that he couldn't be here, but next one. Um, few people have showed up and no one's bought anything yet, but hey, your eggs. Why have been a huge success? Look at this. They're Only almost all gone. Only two more eggs left. They're a hit. Wow. Hey. Hello. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome. Uh, mi hermanillo no sale de la concha. Tiene huevos. What? Uh... Otra vez? Mi armadillo no sale de la concha. Tiene huevos. Something about his armadillo. Do you speak any, oh, you speak some Spanish? Just a little bit, but it sounds like something about his armadillo won't, won't do something. Otra vez? Mi armadillo no sale de la concha. Tiene huevos. His armadillo won't come out. But he wants something. Oh. I don't know what the last part is. You should get the computer. Oh, I'll look translate it. Up. it. Yeah, okay. look at one of those things that'll translate it. <sighs> What's the last part? Oh no, Moss. Hermadillo no sale de la concha. Tiene huevos. Eggs. He wants eggs. <laughs> oh, oh, His man. armadillo won't come out of the shell. It won't, he's asking for <laughs> eggs. For the armadillo? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, you should have known that one. Of course. God. Hey, well, there, there you go. 
right. Your armadillo eats eggs? Does he eat oh. eggs? See? Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Pizza man. Hold on. Hold on. This is not happening. I don't believe this. Man. I got. I got to get the door. Hold on. Hey, come on in. Got your pizza. Fantastic, man. You're the diary. And I've got you. You're the uh, dancing slice guy. Yeah, yeah. I got promoted. You know, uh, delivering pizzas now. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I keep it tired too. I have this guy, you know, documenting me pizza, delivering pizzas, and uh, I don't know. He just disappeared. I haven't seen him in, in a while. Well, yeah. Got your pizza here, man. All right, man. Um, here you go. Okay. What's this? It's the. Uh, I delivered pieces for 50 years, and when you do that, instead of giving you a watch, you get this card. The Golden Tomato card, they call it in the industry. And any pizza chain in the United States will give the holder of this card a free pizza anytime. Um, maybe I should call my boss or something about this. I'm not sure. Man. Believe me, it's not a scam. It's not a scam. You just don't run into many 50 years like me. It's all on the level. I'm going to give you a number. I'm going to write a number down. Tell your boss you had a golden tomato 50. Golden tomato 50. And they'll give you the money for the pizza. When he calls this number. What about my tip, man? The gratuity, if they figure it at 15%, it's going to be in there. And your boss, after they give him the amount plus 15%, will give you 15% of what this pizza cost. Right. Yeah, it's, it's going to be all right, man. Believe me. Right. Are you uh, serious about delivering pizzas, man? Oh yeah, 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 I am. Very serious. Sit down for a minute. Let me talk to you. You got a minute? Yeah, I got a minute. Oh, that thing's hot. Man. I worked this game for 50 years, like I told you. I retired very comfortably here, as you can see, from delivering pizzas. I want to give you some tips. Mm -hmm. Are you really serious that you're going to play this game for a I'm while, play man? This game, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I want to hear what. You okay. Have to say. Four simple tips, and that can separate you from every other pizza delivery man around you. You'll be getting the biggest tips. Tip number one: You show up with the pizza. You always hold the pizza in one hand and you stand very straight, ring the bell like a fine waiter. This makes the pizza recipient feel like he's having like an unbelievable fine dining experience. You know, a waiter has shown up right. with his meal. Number two. Number two. It's going to sound crazy. Stay with me on this one. When you hand them the pizza, you, you say, Tonight's your night, Paris! I know it sounds, <laughs> it, sounds it works. Okay, all right. It has, it has worked time and time again for me. Believe me, it'll work for you. Don't ask me why. In combination with the other tips, it works. Last tip. When they put their hand in the pocket to get the money, yeah. you run for the fucking hills. The opposite of hanging around like a goon for a tip, you walk away like you're not even going to collect the money for the pizza. Yeah. It puts zero pressure on them, you see? So now they, they say, hey, look at this guy. So now they say, hey, hey, wait a minute, here, man, here, I got your thing. And you say, oh, well, thank you. And you turn, and you're still very polite, and they get their hand in the pocket right now. And this is, the, this is the, the killer, man, right here. This is the martini shot right here. You tell them, 
Gold is gold, silver is silver, but the real reward is to deliver. And man, a five's coming out of that pocket, maybe a ten. Casi tiene been loaning out, they didn't know. Se fue! I found it! <laughs> hey diary, we're all here at the park today having a picnic because it's our birthday. We all three of us share the same birthday. So we're just here enjoying this beautiful day and we're having a little picnic and yeah. Woo! It's awesome. Hey. So, we just wanted to share Look. that with you. It's dog! Dog! <gasps> dog! Come! Oh my gosh! Come, 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 buddy! Wow! Come, come, come! Come, come, come! <laughs> oh, dog. no way! Dog! Come, 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 come! Oh my dog. god, Oh my Elibet. god, it's dog! <laughs> come, 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 Wow! That's Good the best boy. birthday Welcome present home. ever! Wow! <laughs> Welcome home. I'm gonna go put oh, him in the car. Wow. Right. Right. Okay. Wow. Phenomenal. That's incredible. <laughs> Let's play a game while he's gone. You All know right. this one? I tried. Just keep clapping and then you do each hand. Ready? Wait. 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 Why can't I get this? Hold on, it's like this. One, two. No, clap, damn, damn it. Clap, okay. Wow. You just get fucked in here. Dad's gotta play this one. Oh, he would love to play <laughs> Who are you? I'm Ed. You're not our Ed. You just switched dimensions. My world runs parallel with your world all the time. It's right over there. He stepped into mine, I stepped into his. How you doing? Uh, wow. Um, okay. Diary, where you going? Diary! Hey! Right before I sleep at night I get a rifle and I kill the light I never know what I'm gonna dream It's just my brain train letting off steam Diary